gentlemen, the following contest is set for one fall. First, making his way to the ring from Mexico, weighing in at 275 pounds, not sure. And his opponent, from Elizabeth, New Jersey, weighing in at 235 pounds, Randy the Ram Robinson! God, that actually killed my throat. <laughs> so, here lately, I have been going over a whole lot of wrestling media, and I've even came across clips from some of the movies. Now, these were two movies that I actually grew up watching when it came to wrestling. And one, Nacho Libre, very family friendly, something that I'm pretty sure many of us have seen. And the other one, The Wrestler with Mickey Rourke, a movie that basically kickstarted his career back up. And it was a much darker side of wrestling as far as how things go. So we have Nacho. We have the Ram. And this match is underway. Nacho going with some great strikes to start with. Now, both of these people are very old school. We're talking several decades ago they were wrestling. Nacho wrestling, I believe, in the 70s. And the Ram fighting in... I cannot remember exactly when the Ram was fighting. However, he was very well known. He was extremely popular, selling out Madison Square Garden. Two incredible competitors, both out of their prime. Hold on, what do we got here? Big choke slam right there from Nacho Libre. And a great kick right there to counter from the Ram. The Ram going to work on the arm of Nacho Libre. Now he's taking a bit of a breather. Nacho getting up to his feet. Bit of a grapple going on here. What do we got? Old school suplex. One of the classic and still popular moves used to this day. Suplex by Randy the Ram Robinson followed up with that takedown. It looked like he was grabbing onto his mask and pulling it back. Just do not pull the mask off. It is a very disrespectful thing to do. Randy the Ram continuing to go to work on that arm. Unsure of what he's going to be doing to it. Possibly a submission or possibly a way to try to keep Nacho from kicking out Nacho. Countering right there and he's slamming his opponent repeatedly into the mat. And a bit of a headlock while landing some blows to the temple. The Ram definitely not enjoying that. Hopefully it doesn't cause any more health issues than what he already has. Nacho, however, not an easy opponent to deal with. One of the larger luchadors that we have seen. 275 pounds. And he can still do some incredible flying maneuvers. And now the Ram is bleeding. This is definitely not something he needs to have happen right now. However... He went for a strike to the back from Nacho Libre. Nacho not taking it. Nacho lifting up the ram. Great maneuver, throwing him onto the ropes. Nacho going for a suplex. One. Two. And there it is, the third suplex. He's going for the pin. One. Two. Only a two count as the Ram kicks out and Nacho not happy with the fact that he did not get the pinfall. Great counter right there from the Ram. Three suplexes. Definitely bleeding from the head right now. This is an intense match for him. 
In reality, I'm surprised he was medically cleared for this match as he has suffered several health problems, including a heart attack that should have ended his career right then and there. But he is still going strong, throwing his opponent out of the ring, and now we have a match on the outside. The referee starting his 10 count. Great knee across the face from the Ram. The Ram lifting Nacho up. An incredible forearm to the face of Nacho. And now it looks as if the Ram is going to be getting back into the ring. Nacho just dazed and confused. It was a count of four, but now it looks as if the ref is going to be starting his count once again at one. As the Ram continues this onslaught outside of the ring. Nacho starting to counter back. Good blow to the body. And a suplex. A little bit of a stalling suplex there. Great maneuver. Have all the blood rushed to his head. Only so he can continue to pour out of that cut. Nacho. Continuing to be dominant. However, now it looks as if the Ram was getting up. Oh, hold on, Nacho! It looked like it was going to be a two-handed choke slam, but that did not happen. Instead, the Ram countering with an arm drag, and now that atomic drop. The referee getting closer to their 10 count. Nacho in the ring. Nacho sliding back out. We're going to be having a restart on that. However, the Ram does not want to stay out. He instead throws his opponent into the ring, and he gets back in. We are back inside the match. We're back inside the ring. Now Nacho going for an incredible military press and then just throwing his opponent to the side. Now what do we have Nacho going for? Whatever it was, it was countered by the Ram. The Ram working on that arm once more. And now he is getting to work on the face of Nacho. One, two, only a two count from the Ram. And clearly not happy with that call. It should have been a three count. Continuing to work on that arm. However, you should be watching out for the net to Nacho Libre as he knocks his opponent down. One, two, only a two count. Both competitors getting back up to their feet. However, Nacho slamming the Ram back down onto his back. Wait, what do we got here? The Romero! Romero special! Is he going to tap? Is he going to tap? He is not going to tap. Nacho lets the hold go. And now he's going for a kick of his own. Hold on, he's going up to the top. Is he going to do it? Fingers up. Ram jam, the flying headbutt. The ref going for the pin. One, two, only a two count. A ram jam, not enough. He's going to the top. Is it going to be another one? Ram jam, once again. Going for the pin. One, two, three. And your winner, Randy the Ram Robinson. An incredible performance. Holy shit. The three amigos right there from Nacho. I thought that would have been the end. And it wasn't. An incredible bout to the outside. That kick that nearly... Got Nacho the win right there. One Ram Jam. Two Ram Jams. What an incredible performance. He was able to survive. Able to survive a Romero special submission. And he has came out victorious in this match. But guys, I'm going to cut it here. I got to get ready for work on episode three. What an amazing dark match with two movie-based characters not on the roster. I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Take care, guys.